వామకేశ్వరి మతం ద్వితీయ పటల వెర్ ఎవర్ దిస్ మెథడ్ ఈస్ ప్రాక్టిస్డ్ బై అ సాధక బీట్ కంట్రీ టౌన్ ఆర్ విలేజ్ ఇట్ కాజెస్ యూనివర్సల్ ఎక్సైటేషన్ ఎంప్లాయింగ్ పౌడర్డ్ అండ్ టిల్ డస్ట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు రూల్ యంగ్ ఉమెన్ their minds burning with the fire of passion heated and vigorous come from a great distance from the vision of mahadevi in the sadhaka all young women their hearts deranged by mantra and with quivering rounded hips become subjugated all women on earth become excited by reciting the mantra 100000 times if this doesn't cause instant agitation then certainly it excites very quickly by a sadhaka's continued devotion then all the naga maidens in the underworld become excited when these also are unaffected resorting to devotion creates excitement then all the goddesses dwelling in heaven become excited deveshi the best sort of sadhaka practicing a vow and after reciting the mantra 300000 times causes concentration causes consternation of all that moves and all that is fixed in the three worlds if after drawing a large chakra in its center drawing an image with the name of the object and meditating thereon the named burns with passion even if 100 yojanas distant she manifests herself free from shame and fear friendly and deluded by her desire or o devi parameshwari if one should meditate on the mantra in the center and thinking of oneself as all red and as the object to be accomplished sadhya then one gains all great good fortune and the sadhaka becomes beloved of the world if one worships with mudra and all red ritual accessories those who are named become one servants and subjugated if being in the center of the chakra one should worship the invisible target of one's affections and if one should display the yoni mudra then one attracts her instantly yakshinis gandharvis kinnaris sureshwaris siddha maidens serpent girls maiden devis kecharis vidyadharis apsaras and rishi maidens become subjugated they appear to one in a desirous excited state with beautiful swaying hips the great kamakala meditation excites all young maidens having recited the mantra 108 times the wise man should make a forehead mark tilaka with equal parts of rochana kumkuma and sandal then if the one whom the sadhaka desires is touched by this she is subdued and becomes like a servant maheshwari after reciting the mantra 108 times one should give flower fruit scent wine clothes and whatever stimulates a woman immediately the wise man may attract a beautiful girl with a wanton heart one should never show violence to her else one is destroyed in a quiet spot one should draw an image using rochana which is beautiful adorned with jewels 
charming, erotic, and captivating. Having worshipped that images, forehead, hands, heart, navel, and bhaga, adorned with the girl's name and the Mahavidya. Ankushbij, one should write on the joints to her limbs and Kamavija. Then, having made a mandala, one should make oneself like Tripura. After showing the Kshobhini Mudra, one should recite the Vidya 108 times. One should worship the image as being dissolved in the center of the moon, sun and fire cities. Then, she becomes perturbed, showing sidelong glance, her body afflicted with desire, strongly intoxicated, eager for love, with a restless and enlarged yoni. Because of this arrow of love from the Shakti Chakra, the Shakti appears consumed with desire. Because of the code of love or mantra, that is, Ankushvid, she sets off from far away, traveling without anxiety, her heart captivated, her steadiness destroyed, enlivened, and wanting to come over fortresses, hills, deep rivers, and well-defended fortification, young with the need for love-making, her mind and heart lotus trembling. The great mantra powerful over her mind causes her to come by its power affecting her heart and causing her garments to slip making her intoxicated agitated hot streaming with love's desire like her image in the yantra unconscious of all else tormented by love torn with emotions confused highly excited in a far gone state split and separated from her family, restless, bewildered by mantra, and also many other women may appear within a radius of 100 yojanas. Using another method, whosoever should wear the chakra on his own shoulder, having written the Matrigas around it becomes inviolable to all living beings. When acting in this way, one should write one's own name using sandal, a guru, camphor, blood, and then one gains immortality. Or one may, according to rule, use rochana, a guru, and kumkuma, inscribing the yantra with one's own name and the name of the object one desires and wearing it for both it carries longevity in the world placing in the center the great kamakala bija putting each of the syllables of the name of the object to be accomplished both inside and outside of the yantra entwining them with letters of the alphabet having engraved all this on gold wearing it on one's shoulder on the top of one's head or on one's clothing one may delude demons elementals and all that moves or does not or doesn't move in the three worlds it deludes Kings, heroes, the wicked, elephants, thieves, lions, snakes, other mantras, mahagrahas, enemies, missiles, Saturn, swords, dakini, shakini, bhutas, pretas, and pishajas. Devi, if one should place this chakra called Sundari in towns in the middle of crossroads or in the four directions, then the world becomes agitated and the young woman one has named appears if one should meditate on the center of the chakra in the country on mountains in woods or in forests 
or surrounded by the four oceans. Women also burn for the sadhaka. Using this meditation yoga, one becomes equal to the God of love within six months. By one's glance, one may attract or subjugate the world. By one's glance, one may subjugate a woman. By one's glance, one may destroy poison. By one's glance, one may cause slavery. By one's glance, one may delude all. By one's glance, one may destroy fever and so forth. And one may destroy short life and infection. Whosoever has worshipped this chakra at night time painted with vermilion causes a woman to be attracted to him from a very great distance. Whosoever worships in the cardinal and intermediate points causes the world in all these directions to be in a state of subjugation. If one should draw it on birch bark using rochana, a guru and kumkuma, and if one should place it on the earth in the center of a city or a town or a large country or a sphere or circle of people, having inscribed one's own name within it, or if one should wear it on one's wrist, round one's throat, on one's shoulder, on one's head, on one's clothing, or wheresoever placed, then the greatest sort of agitation is caused in that town and so forth, which is near the great womb chakra. Whosoever should draw this chakra using his own name and employing semen, kunkuma, dhattura, oleander, rochana, leg, menses and mask, then for such an one there is never fear of theft, planetary afflictions, ailments, injury, rakshasas, rakshas, yakshas, bhutas, Vitalas, Pretas, Pishachas, Spiders, Scorpions, Insects or any trembling in fear at smallpox and so forth. This mantra is the cause of all offensive magical acts, subjugation, death, kalas, restraints of so and so forth. One should never harm even one hair of a shakta. Pressing Devi in the center within two triangles, one should place outside this the name written with Rochana and Kunkuma. If one should do puja for seven days, he become one's slave. One should draw it with yellow substance and place it facing the direction of the target. The named, even if he knows everything instantly, becomes a fool. One should worship using the great blue essence placing the named object as before facing the south and after burning it in a fire one may instantly kill making it using cow's urine and buffalo and horse dung and after casting it into the middle of a fire one may cause enmity in all living beings having written the named target in the center using rochana and the wing of a crow Hanging it so as to be suspended, one may cause the foe to flee, Uchatana. Devi, using milk, red lac, rochana, great blue essence, and so forth, and after drawing it, if one should establish it, one may cause the target to be subjugated. When, by this method, according to rule, one should cast it into the middle of water, un equaled wealth comes from sipping this water there is no doubt putting into the middle of this chakra the name of a town or of a beautiful woman one may truly excite and cause agitation if one meditates thus for seven days if o devi one should worship using sami durva shoots and ashwatha pallava or arka tree towards a wicked sinner then within one month 
one may slay that dirty being and cause seven extra births. If one should worship this chakra, having drawn it in yellow and facing east, one may paralyze all tongues. Having written the chakra using vermilion powder, if one should worship facing north, then the world always becomes subjugated. One should draw a golden chakra and should do puja facing west. One becomes attractive to all women and the cause of subjugation and excitement. When one worship facing south, drawing it in a black color, whosoever is named therein is immediately slain by mantra. Devi, whosoever has worshipped in the northeast causes paralysis, enmity, ailments and uprooting to his enemy. Devi, written using rochana and cast in the middle of milk, it causes subjugation. Cast into cow's urine, it causes enemies to be uprooted. Cast into buttermilk, it causes enmity. Cast into a flaming fire, it destroys all enemies. O Mahishani, whithsoever sadhaka alone at a crossroads draws the chakra using very bright vermilion, writing the letters of the alphabet on the outside and inside of the chakra and worshipping at midnight according to the method of the coolers becomes Khechara. O Mahadevi, having worshipping O Mahadevi, having worshipped using the previously declared method on a hill, one causes fever and death to disappear, and good health is gained, there is no doubt. If O Devi, a sadhaka of steady mind should do sadhana on the fourteenth day of the dark fortnight in the cremation ground using the previous method he gains the siddhis known as paduka kharga patala and philosopher's stone anjana vivara chetaka yakshini and great prosperity and knows everlasting success in the three worlds. The best sort of sadhaka may accomplish all and become very powerful. End of the second patala of Bhamakeshwari Matam